It's Thursday, March 14th, 2013. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. New evidence revealed suggesting a particle discovered last year is indeed the elusive Higgs boson. Gautam Nike, a veteran science reporter for the Wall Street Journal, he has the latest and joins me from London. Uh, so Gautam, walk me through this a little bit. And the Higgs boson, this is particle is crucial to the current view of how the universe is structured. And tell us, why is that? Well, when the universe was created, a uh, vast amount of energy was released. And physicists have always wondered and been puzzled by the question of why most of that energy stayed as energy, but a small amount of it ended up as particles and essentially mass, the stuff that makes up you know, the sun and s stars and planets and you and me. And the Higgs boson is a hypothesized particle that um, physicists have come up with to try and explain why particles have mass. And this particle was discovered uh, last summer, but what is the new evidence that they've just arrived upon today? In order for physicists to, physicists to absolutely confirm definitively that they've discovered a new particle because it's not an everyday occurrence, they have very, very high standards of statistical significance that they have to get to. So in July, they basically announced that they had pretty good data to suggest they had found a particle that looked like the Higgs boson. They weren't 100% sure, and they still aren't. But what the new data, which is a lot more than they had back in July, suggests is that they really have most likely found a Higgs boson. The question is, is whether it's the Higgs boson that uh, you know, the famous Professor Higgs, whose name is given to the particle, hypothesized. That particle is kind of what underpins the standard model of physics, our general view of how the universe is structured. On the other hand, it might turn out to be a more exotic version of the Higgs boson. If that's the case, it opens up all kinds of new questions about how the universe is structured. So this is not a simple story. Galton, for those of us who aren't physicists, what kind of equipment, what techniques are used to discover a particle like this in the first place? What they have to do is accelerate particles like protons, electrons, to a near light speed in a massive machine, uh, an atom smasher. Uh, and the world's biggest one is located near Geneva. It's called the Large Hadron Collider. And when you accelerate these particles to near light speed and smash them, you create a whole array of smaller, very elusive, short-lived particles. And physicists study the tracks of these tiny and elusive particles that exist for just a very short amount of time. And by studying that, they're able to try and figure out exactly what the mass of that particle is. So the secret to pinpointing something like the Higgs boson is to homing in on its mass. They hypothesized what the mass would be, and they kept searching and searching like a game of hide and seek, and narrowing down the places where it wasn't till they found where, where it was. And once they do determine that it is indeed definitively, as much as they can, uh, determine that it is Higgs boson, what happens next? Well, uh, if it is a you know, standard flavored Higgs boson, then essentially it cements something known as the standard model of physics, which is our current best explanation for how the universe came to be and how it runs today. On the other hand, if they find that this is actually not a standard Higgs, it's something more unusual and exotic, then there are all kinds of other mysteries that perhaps can be explained. For example, the one enduring mystery is dark matter. Why is so much of the matter, uh, about 25% uh, of the, so much of the universe, uh, comprised of something that's dark matter, which, uh, you know, it doesn't reflect light and yet has an effect uh, on gravity. And only 4% of the universe is what, you know, star, suns and stars are made of, and so are you and I. 25% is still this unexplained dark uh, matter. And if they find this Higgs boson is a more exotic variety, it might shed some light on dark matter. Fascinating. Gautam Nike, thanks so much for that report. We appreciate that.